This is my Greg Knoll beach board, and I'm going to do a restoration on it. I've had it for years. I've, I've had it for at least close to 15 years. It, it was given to me. It, it was given to me years ago when I had a pet service. I was um, talking to the owner, this woman, Jet, and um, I noticed it in the corner. I'm like, wow, that is really cool. It's, it's 10 foot long. I said, 10 foot beach board, a Greg Knoll. I said, that, that's really bitching. And she said, you want it? I said, what, you don't want that? I was like, do you, do you want money for it? And she said, no, just take it, get it out of here. I had a pet service and I was doing, you know, we'd all use like bikes. I had, no one worked for me that used a car. Everybody used a bike. I was on a bike, so I took the 10 foot board home with me and then it, it sat around for years. I moved it up here uh, from Brooklyn because it was just taking up space and I put it in the barn. I've always thought of restoring it and now I'm going to. One of the major stumbling blocks about restoration of the board was getting good information on Greg Knoll boards. I could go online and get some information, but it wasn't, um, I was always leaving you know, sort of confused. You know, there's there's many different types of boards. Mo many of them were custom. They were custom. You go and you want a board from from Greg. You say, Greg, I want this board and I want this kind of color. I want. You see what I'm saying? So, it's a Greg Knoll. It's got a sticker down there and everything. So you can see as a sticker there. It's just, there's there's another one right there. It's bitching, man. It's really bitching. This would be like circa 19, 1960, something like that. Somewhere in there. It, you know, give or, give or take, 1960, maybe 59, 60, 61, something like that. Now, strangely enough, I got a lot of information lately from a dog training client. I always use, a, I always ask this question, did you ever do martial arts or any type of sport because dog training is like that it takes um it takes discipline for the owner you know you, you can't just like oh i'm going to train the dog once and then it's going to work out training is the lifetime of the dog so there's a saying that you know when he was younger this is a dude that's a, it's a little bit older than me he said that um he was a surfer it's a surfer like looking at the dude like you wouldn't ever think that he was a surfer a business guy but that's what he did he said he was a surfer and I, was, I mentioned that like I have a I have a Greg Greg Knoll longboard in my barn and I've had it for years we started talking about it and then the other day I went out on the porch and look at what they sent me it's a Greg Knoll book it's on surfboards I'm gonna start restoration on this thing the big the big thing the big problem with this board is that it's it's missing it has a rip in the front which is nothing it's gonna be easy to fix but it's missing a fin, I'll show you. So that this is where the fin would be, and you can see that there's a piece of wood that goes all the way up it, goes all the way up here. Notice, notice the crackle, it's really beautiful. But then there's a, there's a rip up here on the front end. This is gonna be nothing, it's gonna be nothing for me to fix. I've done restoration on a lot of antique bicycles. I can make parts and stuff and you can't, I'm that guy, I'm that guy that can make parts and you can't really tell that it's not original. I'm the problem, I admit it. I'm the problem, I'm not going out and saying, oh yeah, that, that tank on there, that's not one that was, that's not like a, a repop that I bought, that's like something that I made. I'm not saying that, I'm not saying anything. I'm like, I was just like, do you want the bike? It's for sale. Do you want to buy it? Buy it. I don't think I'm going to sell the board. I'm just going to restore it and I might use it. I'm thinking about giving it a try. Why not? I don't know. My hip is, I, I feel so much better. Why not? Well, what's a shark going to eat me? That'd be a good way to go, really. You know, I would prefer it if I, if I died in the woods and the raccoons ate me. That would be a good way to go. But having a shark... Go after me, that'd be good. So that's my plan. It's a, uh, it's a beautiful object. It is, it's fucking cool. And I, this is the way I look at it. Even if I restore it and I 
put it in my house and it hangs on a wall. It's still cool. One of the strangest things about this board was that somebody bought it uh, years ago. Like I was, I uh, can't remember what this situation was, but I was like, uh, I don't think it's supposed to sit like that. I need, I need to turn it. Hang on. So I sold it. I sold it on, on eBay. And um, when I sold it, I sold it to some guy, some rich dude. I can't remember what he paid. He paid either five or eight hundred dollars. So it was one of those two. And it, he was um, buying it from some place in like it was like either Europe or, or Japan maybe. And then in the description, I'm like, uh, you know, you, you could buy, you could pay for it, you know, pay for it. But uh, shipping is going to be up to you, how you want it shipped, because it's 10 foot long. So this guy bought the thing, and I, I can't remember what the circumstances were. I think this is what happened. He bought it, he checked into shipping, and it was going to be $3,000, $2,500, something like that, something crazy amount. I think he said, don't worry about it. Like keep the money. There might've been 500. So I, I have the board. Either it was that, or honestly, it was so long ago, I don't remember. It was either that, or the guy said, um, didn't contact me back with shipping or something. Like, I, I, can't, I can't remember what the circumstances were, but it's my board. It's my board. I'm gonna restore it. It's, it's history, it's history. Like Jules dad said, like, um, Greg Knoll, he's the guy that started it all, started like producing boards. Like he's like the guy. So th there's no way I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell it. I think I'm just gonna fix it, maybe give it a try. Maybe hang it on my wall as like a cool looking artifact. See, I found like this one and I'm like, that's the, about the same green. It's, it's really similar, but uh, I have a, a 10 foot. I don't have a, um, that would be a eight and a half foot, but I have a 10 foot. See all of them, like I, I'm sure that many of the boards that are left, you know, they're like when they were produced, a lot of them were custom. So I don't see this particular paint job, but I, I see things that are like totally you know, similar in a lot of the boards. And the big problem is, is like, you know, figuring out what kind of fin I'm gonna put on it. So this, this, this book is hugely helpful. It has all kinds of great pictures. It's, it's fucking awesome. Now these, these guys, there's pictures that, it, you know, they're, they're fucking rocks. You know, like you look at them, like these, these guys, like from, these, some of them were um, Olympic swimmers. And um, I'm sure now they're like me. They're like me, they're old and fat, falling apart. You know, the original boards, they were made out of wood. They were, they were wood. Hawaiians are the first people that did it. I believe that our guys during World War II, you know, saw some of the, the um, Hawaiian um, natives, natives, but the people that live in Hawaii, the, the you know, Polyne Polynesian descent doing it, and that's the way I, I understand it. Like some of our guys got the idea and got their own boards and start doing it and then brought it back to um, California. There's a wooden board. They were making them out of uh, balsa wood at first. They're, re they're really beautiful, like a wooden board like that. I'm thinking about making one. I won't say it's a Greg Knoll though. I won't do anything like that, but. I have to get some supplies and then I'll start restoration on this thing. It, it, it'll look sweet. It's really, it's, I have a, um, a few more things to research as far as the fin goes. And then uh, it'll be good to go.